Hey there, welcome to day 19 of our No Nonsense November. Sharon Hornelstrom here, just sharing six decades worth of lessons learned as part of No Nonsense November. I like to, in November, just think about what's happened over the last few years, what have I learned, what are some of the biggest lessons I've learned, and share some of that experience. So today, the question for you is, change is blank. When you hear the word change, what do you automatically think of? What is your default? Do you embrace change? Do you resist change? Do you love change? Are you excited about it? Are you scared of change? What is your initial emotional reaction to change? Because we always react emotionally first and then we respond intellectually. We take things from our subconscious where we just automatically respond and then we respond with logic and subjectivity or objectivity, not subjectivity. <coughs> But I guess the biggest lesson I've learned about change is that change is absolutely positively inevitable. It's going to happen. If 2020 has taught us anything, and 2021 as well, is that things that you don't think are ever possible can happen. I mean, I, in my lifetime, never expected there to be a pandemic. And lo and behold, in 2020, we had a pandemic that had global ramifications. So change is inevitable. And, and I think we know on an individual basis, basis the changes are happening in our life and to us all the time and the most important thing is always and we hear this and sometimes it feels that way other times it doesn't how we respond to those changes is the most important thing because nothing is going to stay the same it never does energy and our lives and everything in the world is always moving right we're circling around the planet every day we're circling around the sun we're circling around our lives we're always moving and just like energy and everything else, we're always moving and changing. And so we have to be able to respond and deal with that. Now we can create things in our life to make things more predictable, but human beings, we have this need for predictability and certainty, but on the other side of the coin, since we live in a polar universe, we actually have the need for uncertainty and unpredictability. So it's built into our DNA that we are living in a polar universe and that we need both certainty and uncertainty to satisfy us as humans and change absolutely positively fits the bill right because some changes we're certain about what's going to happen other changes we have no idea and so I think as soon as we can understand and learn about ourselves and how we initially respond to change we can choose how we want to respond to changes and challenges and we can choose whether changes are bad or good and it's always subject to our interpretation, right? One person's change or challenge is another person's opportunity and absolute good fortune and example of possibility. So I'd love to know your take on change. Do you believe change is inevitable? Do you think we should embrace change? Do you think that there's a way to stop change and prevent it from happening? If so, I'd love to hear that. Share in the comments below. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another No Nonsense November. If you've got a suggestion for a life lesson that you've learned that you'd like me to cover, share that in the comments below as well. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow for No More Nonsense. Have a great day. Bye.